Hello my planner beauties and welcome to this week plan with me video. Now I've just uploaded a haul video and I just got so excited of using one of the kits that I got in the mail. As you can see I'm going to use Mila Bella's kit here on the right and the sweet planner shop on the left right there. The backstory to this mashup was that I've ordered the sweet planner shop kit this one here I think while well, back last year in October and I could not use it because I didn't order enough stickers from her. So it's hard for me to find colors and other prints that will match this kit. However, when I was searching around on Etsy, I saw Mil Mila Bella's shop and saw this beautiful print and I'm like, yes, I think that will work very well. So then I purchased it right away. Um, both kits are in Erin Condren Vertical, but I am going to show you guys how any kits could fit into your happy planner. You, all you need is just washi tapes and that's it. Judging by this massive spread of stickers, you could tell that I'll be doing a no white space spread this week. And I'm using my new cover. This is by Hello Pretty Planner. And I just love it. It, it just gives, gives it a, a springy look. Not springy, What? where am I right now? Summer look. <laughs> This week's spread, we're planning August 22nd to August 28th. Let's get started. I usually work from the bottom up. However, with these two kits, it does come with bottom washi, but it was a bottom washi for the Erin Condren, so I don't think it will have, it will have, it will be a perfect match for this spread. So I'm just gonna use my regular washi. But before I do that, I'm gonna start with my ombre heart check boxes from Mila Bella's kit. As you can see while I lay down these ombre heart check boxes, they are smaller because it's for the Erin Condren and I'm using it in my Happy Planner. The sweet side of it is that both Happy Planner and Erin Condren width are the same, so it's definitely workable. Next, I'm gonna pick out my to-do headers and I've decided to use the Sweet Planner Shop headers instead because it's a little bit more girly, feminine, and I wanna tie her shop into this mashup, obviously, so I decided to use her headers instead. Now as you can see, I have to make up that empty space just above the to-do headers and the evening header on the Mambi spread. And to do that, I have to pull out some of my washi. From here, I usually put down my full boxes in the middle before I put down my washi. However, as you can see that I am using an Erin Condren set, I do need to fill in the space before I put in the full boxes. Therefore, in order for me to do my process of elimination of my washi tape, I have to put down the two sticker sheet down just so I could visually see what matches and what does not. I've decided to use this white and gold foil washi tape. However, it is see-through and I do not like having my headers showing through my washi tape. So I'm just gonna lay this on top of one of my labels and cut it out to size. You may ask why not just cover the header itself. The reason why is that you have to have the whole label covering your whole washi tape because it is see-through. You will see the seam of the whiteouts or the label that you decide to lay on top of the header. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. And you know me, I love to layer my washi. Like one washi will never be enough for me. Nah. -uh. So here I'm going to layer this washi with another white and gold foil dot washi. But this dot washi is a bit more uniformed. I just placed the full box sticker up against just to see how much more room I need to work with. So I'm just going to do the top part of the middle section. Same thing as what I did at the bottom section. Once 
Once that's done, I'm gonna measure my full boxes just for good measure, literally. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do the full box dance. Here I wasn't too happy with the first full box being polka dot, polka dot, sun floral, so I decided to just, at first I tried to peel it off, but the sticker would not peel off, so I just had to cover it with another floral full box. As you can tell, I was too focused on my full boxes and not noticing that my camera stopped recording. It actually stops recording every 29 minutes and I didn't have my timer with me. So what you guys missed was just me filling in all the full boxes on the second page and here I am when I was looking, standing back, I felt that the full boxes were floating and I need something to ground it down. So I just cut half of this gold foil washi tape and I'm going to use it as a border. And so far it's coming along pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy how this mashup is coming up. Yay! Sometimes, as I said before in my other videos, I never know how it will look, like how the outcome of all my spreads will turn out. So I'm always so nervous about doing spreads on video. I'll be using this pink washi for the bottom washi. However, it is see-through and there are text on the page. So I'm just gonna cover it up with some blank labels again and then place the washi back on top of it. So far it looks pretty good. So now I want to work on the sidebar and here's a fun little tip. Um, because I'm using the Erin Condren vertical set, the full boxes is almost the same width of the sidebar. As you can see here, I just turn my page around and just lay down the full boxes. So because I'm using the two kits, I do have a few stickers left over, full boxes left over. And I'm just gonna pile it on top onto my sidebar and make a whole collage of sidebar here. There's a little gap at the top and I'm just gonna cover that up with some washi tape that I used for the bottom just to correlate or balance out the spread itself. So Monday is our road trip day, meaning road trip coming home from our out of town wedding. And I didn't realize that these half boxes were curved, so I had to stick a washi tape underneath it just to make sure that there's no white space showing. And also coming home, I want my little ones to have a nice bath. So here I am just using their icons and just sticking them inside this bathtub sticker. And Tuesday, because we were away for a few days, I have to do some groceries, so I'm gonna stick down my washi, put my half boxes there, and keep on forgetting that the half boxes are rounded because I do need washies up and down, up and down, top and bottom. So I'm gonna indicate my grocery day with a teardrop and my grocery bag sticker. 
and I thought I could use that day to catch up on some emails that I've missed throughout the weekend while we were away. And Wednesday is going to be my Etsy day, which I will be fulfilling some orders. And if I time, I will love to create some more designs because I have not touched my creations or designs since I was gone. So I kind of miss creating and designing. So I also dedicated Thursdays for me to do some more designs. And it's also hockey day for my husband too. And this Friday, which is tomorrow, I'll be releasing my new kits. I think I want to release three but we'll see how it goes with the fourth one because I'm still designing the fourth one and I don't know if it's too much kits to release. But anyways, I just put down a Once More With Love Girl Boss sticker just to indicate like, yeah, new release. And also Friday is going to be my mini grocery day just to pick up a few things for the weekend. I forgot to place down my meal plan sticker, so I'm just going to place it down to the, on the to-do ombre heart check boxes. So at this moment, I'm just looking at my sidebar and I felt that it was way too crazy with all those full boxes. So I went ahead and got one of my scrapbook paper because I do need to cover the top weekend corner with my scrapbook paper. And I thought maybe I could use this one also onto my sidebar. But then I decided, nope, I think I'm going to make this work out in my favor. I am going to double side these scrapbook paper onto my spread because it is a no white space spread and I need something to cover those blocks. Because I'm using two kits, so there's this weekend banner with the tassel and Milabella's weekend banner is just the word weekend. I decided to use hers because I felt that the tassel a bit was a bit more for a celebration and I could use that in my future spread. I've decided to work with this sidebar and seeing that there's different full boxes, I've decided to use each full box as a section of a checklist. So here I am just using some page flags, checkbox page flags, going up the line and putting some headers to indicate what needs to be done that week. And I'm just going to finish adding some more decorative items onto the spread and some finishing touches. So with the top left hand corner, I wanted to cover that space because it just seems really awkward with the blue and the pink. So I'm just going to cover that with this scrapbook paper here. I'm just going to finish adding a few more decorative sticker onto the spread. So I got a bit sidetracked with the sidebar and forgot to finish up my todays for my weekend. So on Saturday is my husband and I date night. I'm going to indicate that with a full box and a little custom sticker that I got from Sty & Co. And Sunday is going to be our family day stickers also from Once More With Love. And finally I'm going to finish this spread off with some icons for my YouTube channel and Instagram and Etsy. I haven't decided what color ink that I wanted to use for the spread, so I'm just testing out all the colors that I've decided to pick out, and I believe I went with the teal blue, just so that it stands out a bit more.
and we're done so thank you guys for watching this mash up video of the two kits from the sweet planner shop and from mila bella's shop too if you do like these videos please comment down below and give it a thumbs up just giving you guys a heads up that tomorrow i think later on the day around five o'clock ish i'll be releasing a new release video of my new kits that will be in store and there will be a few kids that I've decided to retire because we are going into a different season. Be sure to check that out tomorrow and I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy planning. Bye.